Round one scheduled for 12 for the IBF Waterweight Championship. Felix Trinidad. Being a southpaw can't help. That adds there. Good judges. Such a big fight. And then get down into his kind of fighting. Time. Is pursuing rather than the other way around. That's They're exactly fight. right. Look at Left hand missing by Camacho. Back as we figured it would be for the whole fight. Oh, nice right hand by Trinidad. Trinidad has to stop worrying about is all the look. And you have to wonder if many of his fellow Puerto Ricans share the same opinion. They do for the simple reason. He showed you on the feature he went too far recently having a run-in with a police officer out in Florida. He could not leave his house without his mom. It certainly has. Because he's doing a very good job here, although Felix is now picking it up this round. Felix Trinidad and Camacho, a little bit of problems here. Remember, Camacho's never been stopped or knocked out. Right here, the floodwaters are coming on for Macho Camacho. Punished by Julio. He's got this guy running. He's got this guy scared. He's felt the sting. He's felt the thumb, you know. Hey, come on. That's what the Macho made. Left hands, if they start landing, affect Trinidad. The WBC Junior Lightweight title in 83, the WB9. His goal is to win a fourth title and then beat Chavez in a rematch. But he's got to get by Felix Trinidad. Felix is heating up the pace, and he's willing to eat some counter punches to do it. He missed many chances to counter punch, so this is getting to be... <laughs> Looks like Felix is gaining steam. The points go to the champion is doing the chase. Gloves and hits you on the head with your own gloves. Well, he's got to do that. He's got to make Felix... I mean, oh, nice shot by Camacho. He's got to make Camacho feel that has solved the southpaw style of Hector. Great defense by Camacho. Oh. The tide has turned toward him. I have him ahead by a point. He can do. He needs to land that with consistency. It's illegal to clinch and hold on. Yet it slides into him to grab him and waltz him and walk him around. That's oh, illegal. Nice punches. Not. Oh, they pumped heads there. Which has to be handed on to the younger generation right now. Hector just doesn't look that. This is going to make for an interesting fight. It has to change Camacho's style because holding is part of his style. Yeah. Always has been, always will be, especially with punches. Bobby, I don't think he can change. The trick in the book, legal or illegal. I didn't see who slapped him. I know his father's fast. Trinidad stalking Camacho now. And Muhammad Ali wins 19 knockouts and 22 wins, no losses. Whoa! Body shots. That's all Lou Rodriguez sh shot. A hard right by Trinidad that rocked. Boy, he sure is patient. Six to 82. What do you got, Bob? I believe I have an 86 to 83. Run, dodge, Bob, weave, hold. Uh, if they take a, uh, if they take a, won't help his case. Take a point away right now. On a counter punch. Now he spins Trinidad around. Hearing it again from the crowd. You can see Cortez trying oh, to give Camacho man every benefit. Oh, big trouble for Hector Macho Camacho as this young guy has got he the He might rank. go down for the first time. Camacho needs that rest. He needs he is a killer instinct champion. Oh, exactly, this is Bobby. not the win now, now it's to survive. Now it's hurt, not. he does get a little sloppy now and start lunging, but the thing is, Camacho might not have the power to knock He looks like he is what you just correctly said, a snake of Rocky Graziano, Rocky Marciano, all of them. And that's the program they got. It's a little too early in the game to talk about. Let's not say anything until we hear what the judges think. Remember, we're in Las Vegas. I mean, you just cannot win a championship going away. I think Macho has, has paid the price of wasting his talent on high life and not having the energy that he needs. You can't just keep playing that high life and have it not come back and home. Body shots again. A lot of courage and fortitude more so against Chavez. His stock actually went up in losing.
Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of boxing here at the MGM Grand Garden, we have a unanimous decision, and I will read the score totals. Judge at ringside, Glenn Hamada, scores the bout 116-110. Mike Gliena scores the bout 117-109. Dalby Shirley scores the bout 119-106. All three in favor of the winner, and still champion, Felix Tito Trinidad.